So we have Jay's 900 XP in the shop today. Uh, you may remember this machine from such films as A Bad Day for Jay and My Kind of Friday. Someone had to try this shit. <laughs> and we're doing a couple little projects on it. One of them is this portable winch. And also, we're putting a intrusion bar and I've started with this bottom crossbar and my first attempt at hand coping or notching, whatever you like to call it, doesn't look too bad. So that's part one. Part two will be a single intrusion bar up the center. So we'll start working on that next. So I didn't get to film a closer for this uh, intrusion bar build video because we were in a rush to get uh, going for uh, a little trail ride. A couple weeks have passed actually and uh, we just got back from another trail ride and uh, Jay wanted to do uh, all his fluid changes and grease his wheels so he left the machine here so we can have just a quick look at the finished product, all painted up, just a little spray bomb, flat black to reduce the glare, and also because that's all I had. Pretty basic, uh, but a fun little uh, project to try hand notching. Now I know I didn't get go into a lot of detail on how I did the notching, but it's pretty basic especially for these 90 degree um, connections. Just use the chop saw to remove the bulk of the material and then use a sanding disc. This um, was already a used disc. Like this is a brand new disc. You can see um, this was already used and now it's really rounded out quite a bit from using it to do the notching but the more it rounds out the better it gets uh, for um, smoothing out rounding out the notches where i learned to do that was on a, another youtube channel called the fabrication series that uh, i follow so uh, i recommend you check that out if you're thinking about uh, doing a little tube notching project i think if you were doing <clears throat> anything more than 
90s or 45s, a tube notcher would be a lot better. And obviously, the more you're doing, the more a tube notcher uh, makes sense. But really not a hard thing to do by hand. And back here, a little uh, removable winch setup because he didn't want to have the uh, the extra weight on the machine all the time because uh, he does a lot of playing around at the track. This uh, allows him to hit the trails uh, without too much worry if he gets into a pinch. So, for this video, that's a wrap. Thanks for watching. You missed the spot.